The third round of the prestigious Northeast Amateur saw a lot of jockeying at the top of the leaderboard to get into position for what is sure to be a fantastic final round. Coventry, Rhode Island's Bobby Leopold chipping on number two. Leopold started the day four back at two under, but he misses the par putt to drop a stroke. Corey Whitsitt from national champion Alabama started the day two back at four under. He also struggled on that green with a missed par putt on two. The lead group also both bogeyed number two. Lefty Cam Wilson a chip that was just a little too far away. Co-leader Raphael Becker with a great tee shot on the par three third to get that stroke back. He lands it in birdie range and then makes the bird to regain the lead by a shot at six under. Patrick Rogers made his move. He started the day four back, just misses a birdie on eight. Rogers now tied for second, two back at four under after three rounds. Wits its birdie chip on eight goes a little too far by. He would bogey eight and then nine, but he did rally. Witsit is four under, also two back in a three-way tie for second. Becker, a great tee shot on eight. But not only would he miss the short birdie, he would also miss the par putt to drop a shot back. Leopold, well, look at the birdie chip on nine. Almost goes in. He would make the short par putt. Leopold shot a four under 73 to fall eight off the lead at plus two. Bo Andrews just misses a birdie on nine. He's also in a group of four that are one under. That's tied for fifth, five back. Wilson just misses a bird on nine as he's in that three-way tie for second, two back. Everyone chasing Becker, the first and second round leader, now two up after three rounds. So the stage is set for another fantastic finish here at the 52nd Northeast Amateur. To check out all the scores and latest updates, make sure you go to northeastamateur.com. I'm Don Coyne reporting.